I'm Annie. And I'm Allison. And this is our working Sterling engine. No. No. It's going to be harder to tell when to blow it out now because the wood's already black. Yeah. We'll just watch the speed of it once it accelerates. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of the house. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's on fire. Is it? Yeah. I think it goes faster. Okay, we should probably blow it out. Really? Yeah. This is the stand for our Sterling engine, and it is screwed to our blue wood block base. This is the pressure vessel bottom and the pressure vessel top, which are sealed airtight by epoxy. Inside of the pressure vessel, there is a displacer, which is basically a small airtight cylinder that fits just inside the pressure vessel, um, and it moves up and down to help the engine work. And as you can see here, there's a little metal square which helps create an airtight seal in which this piston can move up and down. Right. And this piston is connected to the displacer inside. So this is the PVC elbow, which by a small hole inside here is connected to the uh, pressure vessel and it allows airflow within the pressure vessel. Um, this is the diaphragm. The rubber bands create an airtight seal between the diaphragm and the elbow and it's connected to the secondary piston which is held in place by balsa wood. Uh, this is the flywheel which is connected to the crankshaft um, via balsa wood back here and there is also a nickel on the flywheel to provide counterweight. This is the crankshaft which basically connects the flywheel and the piston and the secondary piston and it's bent here and here so In the first stage, the displacer is at the top of the pressure vessel. The diaphragm is in neutral position. Most of the gas is in the bottom of the pressure vessel, and the candle heats the gas underneath the displacer. In the second diagram, the displacer is in the middle of the pressure vessel. The diaphragm is fully inflated. The gas in the pressure vessel is hot because it was just heated in the previous diagram, and the gas flows into the diaphragm as it heats and expands. In the third diagram, the displacer is at the bottom of the pressure vessel. The diaphragm is again in neutral position. Most of the gas is in the top of the pressure vessel, and the ice on top of the pressure vessel cools the gas inside the pressure vessel. In the fourth diagram, the displacer is in the middle of the pressure vessel. The diaphragm is contracted. Um, the gas in the pressure vessel is cold because it was just cooled by the ice in the previous diagram and the gas flows out of the elbow into the pressure vessel as it cools and contracts. <laughs> now it goes faster. <laughs> Maybe we don't need the counterweight. It's not slowing down. It's not. <laughs> the Sterling engine was just like, I don't want the counterweight. <laughs> I think this is better. I think we should just get the counterweight. Because now it's not stopping. This is the best it's ever run before. Uh, sh 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 go, go, go. Should we put more ice? Here, I have a small piece. Oh, this is cold. <laughs> <laughs> really, Allison? Ice is cold? Yeah. All the cold water. Oh, it's hitting the ice. <laughs>